sorry everyone um i don't know where you probably tell this on the in camera but i have dyed my hair um i went for like a midnight blue so it has like a bluey chime but the strands that are been bleached as i had i bleached yesterday are a little bit more blue not much just a little the hint of blue chime um i wanted something different than pink but like the blue that was like left over when I can't remember what when I removed all the hair colour and all that all the hair dye um that was quite nice I did like that sort of blue um so I went for like a darker blue but like a shine it's like a shine to it so at midnight um I actually do like I looked myself in the mirror for a bit as well and I actually do like it it's kind of nice um most of the blue shade i would like i would prefer but the shade i'm never gonna get in a way so i hope um so you probably can't tell us on camera but that's what my hair color is um i had it hair cut yesterday so i went to the hairdresser yesterday to have it cut and highlighted a bit as well she didn't highlight all the most of the strands that mom highlighted at home before so she's like less strands that have been highlighted so i just stay in the hairdresser for like it for like two or three hours i don't know why because my hair doesn't take that long to lighten it usually lightens quite quick not as quick as my like or my, my older brother because his hair is light and small but than i do but it doesn't take that long to lighten so i don't know why i had to i had most of everything done on myself yesterday um i'm not too fond of hairdresser's hair or haircuts because I'm not too fond of it because it doesn't really look like it's been cut really um I'm not quite happy because my mum does a better haircut but she doesn't want to anymore but she does better haircuts and So, yeah. So I know she she's cut a bit and thinned it a bit because I got like, I think, right side. My right side is always thicker than my left. I don't know why everyone's like that, but it, my hair is always like that. I've been told that many times in the past with hairdressers, my mum. So. I've been told that many times. Um, I'm supposed to go to York today myself, probably, because I don't think anyone else would do it. And one reason why I want to go there, pop is more just like a bit more independent as well. Because last time I went to York by myself was probably before COVID. And I was just starting to get there with my anxiety levels, just being able to go out by myself and because going to Ripon and all that and Bob Bridge is like now to me now I've got so used to it I can shop by myself and it's like time to do both further now. Um that's when it was after, before COVID started, so and the lockdowns. <laughs> So yeah, that's one reason why and there's also something from a game shop I need to pick up um, for the console. Um, does Amazon just not want to deliver it? it just, it's been a bum with it now so it's not like too essential though so I thought you could um, and also just to have a browse as well because it's been 
quite a long time. It feels like years since I went to York now and just have a browse. And the only thing I'm worried about every time is bus home because sometimes in the past we've had it many times with York buses on the way on home bus. Sometimes it doesn't stop at the bus stop and it goes off without you and leaves you at the bus stop stranded for hours because two or three hours you gotta wait for each bus so it's like this bus is a little better because it's like every 20 minutes but no I say I say you think I'm worried about and also my anxiety level as well because my anxiety level I've been up last night I could very much feel that um feel the signs the symptoms and yeah it's my anxiety time let's try to deal with it um so I put my sounds on last night and tried to just to uh, calm, focus on something else, keep your mind entertained. It's a bit hard at night time. It always is. Night times are usually worse for my anxiety levels. I've got no idea why. Maybe because it's all quiet and I've got my mind can focus because it's all quiet. I don't know, really. <laughs> um, and even now, my anxiety levels still going because my stomach feels like it's washing machine and it's turning and spinning and it's not stopping um i've had some breakfast probably have like something else to eat before i i do go um yeah i had a headache last night as well because my head my stomach was going washing machine my head was pounding Mm. Don't you worry, you know the symptoms and like, you know the signs. I didn't go for like a stream panic attack last night, so that was a good thing. It was cold and mild ones, like little little ones each time. It wasn't like a big long one, which I hate the long ones and the big ones. I hate them because the after, after effect and the after, what you feel afterwards, you just feel like so exhausted mentally and physically and you also feel <sighs> there's many things I could put in words but I'm trying to find the best words for it um you just feel drained washed out a bit and also embarrassed and you feel like everyone around you is judging you because you acted like that you feel so embarrassed because everyone else can handle it and you can't. It's like if someone else had these feelings, I bet they could handle it. And I'm thinking, hmm. So half the reasons why that's point that's most of the reason why when I do feel like that I don't ask for help or support because you just feel so embarrassed, so judged. And many times people let me down in the past. When I when I reached out to people that said they helped, that I could help. So now I don't really do that anymore. I tend to have my wall up, my guard up around. If someone tells if someone tells me, oh, we can help, we can support you, and like, I'll put my wall up and push them away because they've done it to me in the past. The subject that I probably will go into at some point. Because it's something that I need to talk about, really, I feel like. Um, I don't mean to push them away. Even my family, I push them away. If, when they're around and they want to help. Because everyone around me is let me down. And once you've been let down, many times in the past, by people that say that, you tend to have your wall up and not let anyone in. I know last time when my mum was away to see my younger brother um, for a couple of days I had an anxiety attack and I asked my older brothers for help 
but sometimes I feel like if I do ask for help then what would I want them to help with because in that mode in that situation in the mode you don't really know what to ask for what sort of help you need apart from just being around and listening here and just being there I can't think of anything else really I'm trying to think like in that mode that situation of mine you can't think really you just, sometimes you freeze and you just can't think what you need at, mo at that time sometimes you do you freeze or sometimes you just your mind goes blank and you focus when you just can't focus on anything because your mind's blank no subject. If anyone knows what high anxiety panic attacks feel like, I'm with you because I feel them. So yeah, sometimes I I, I pass out for them as well. So not even one. Sometimes I do. Um. So that's a plan today. I'm post two. Um. Because on Monday I thought like weekend I'll try to go out and because I have done it before I've, I keep telling myself I've done this before for myself that I can do it again um so yeah I do I couldn't go shopping this week because I couldn't it wasn't a day available I could that, that this, this week has been a busy week for me so I have to good thing I don't it's not too urgent that I need but I will need to do that this week this coming week um what else I'm trying to think of what else couple of days I've been watching well, <laughs> we watch, I should say, because I've seen it before. Yeah, <laughs> once upon a time. Um, watch all the seasons again. You know, Seven is still confusing me. It's still. I can't quite get it. Because. You tend to think, like, where's Emma? Where, where's Emma in all this? And. So, please say where she is. Saviour, I should say. Or how the curse broke. Again. I saw a lot, of, a lot of characters that I've seen before. Um, can't think of a name. Uh, one who played Mary of Scots in Regain, I think it's called. Can't think of her name. But I know she played Mary in that Regain series, I think. I think it's called that. Could be wrong. It's been a while since I've seen that anyway. Um, so I've seen her again in Seven. She played a villain this time. So, yeah. so I've seen all the seasons again. Um, but Seven's still confusing me. <laughs> I can't quite work out what's the then they're all season seven, really. Um, what else? Yeah. I think what else is this way to talk about, really? Because I'm still trying to think of things that I can say. Um, I'm on chapter twelve of Twin Sisters, Twin Crowns. Yep, I'm on chapter twelve now. Um, so far it's a really good book. I've quite enjoyed reading it. And I have enjoyed the author. Two authors, I should there's two authors, so yeah. I've quite enjoyed her their work really. Um Still waiting for the Vampire Net Memories next chapter to be translated into English. I've seen a couple of roles for it, so 
usually that time it's near even as it's French, Spanish, for English usually that's how it works so looking forward to what's going on next chapter um so far the roles i've seen for it looks <laughs> something that know what's going on um i'm not gonna say much it's, it's spoiler so i'm not gonna say much really um Yeah. Um, I can't think of anything to say, so I'm going to put the phone down now because I literally ran out of things to say. <laughs> I don't think there's not much to talk about really, um, apart from that's my plan today. Uh, probably not going to get back. Depends in what time. I'm not quite going to do a lot there really. Because they don't really have a lot to do there. That I need right now. So. Probably, probably around 3, 4. Probably. If you catch like the, I think like a half, one and a half, two plus. But they're not by six, seven time. You just can't get that. The last bus of the day you can't catch it, you just gonna go to the village, so I have to probably put a reminder on, on my phone saying for bus times and oh my phone is charging because I've got to charge it for the bus. Um I think I've got everything I need. I've got my bag ready, so that's the things I need. Um, so, why color my hair midnight blue? Well, different colors because I didn't really want to go white pink again. As well, because I did like the blue that was like left over. As I said, I did like that colour and yeah. So far I'm quite happy with my hair colour right now. Um I might stop I'll stop recording because I need to charge my phone up and just do the last bits that I need to have on me for today. That's why I still need to, I'm trying to calm my anxiety down as well because my anxiety is a little bit high right now and I'm trying to calm it down to normal level, I hope. But usually it's like this until sometimes like when I'm around, when I'm in town and walking around and knowing that I'm okay, it settles down a bit and it's going to normal level a bit now so. Usually, I'm um, usually like that, really. Being on a bus there, I'm like, anxiety, anxiety, because, like, next stop, I'm gonna get off. It's a bad idea. But I tell myself, no, see it through. It'll get better. So, I'm gonna stop now. Bye.